Thanks for inviting us in. Tonight, a leaked document for the early days of the Delphi investigation gives new insight into where investigators had their focus immediately after the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. A sealed search warrant obtained and revealed through a podcast shares grim details about the crime scene and the police interest in the man who owned the property where those two teen girls were found. Tonight, our Lauren Costick begins our big story by explaining why police thought he may have been responsible. Well, this is the home and property that is mentioned in this latest leaked document. It was home to Ronald Logan before he passed away in 2020. And it's also where police found the bodies of Abby and Libby more than five years ago. And even though this document is from 2017, it's giving new details that were never released before. Back in March 2017, 13 News was there when FBI searched Logan's property. We also spoke with him multiple times, and he even walked us back to the crime scene. I can't really wrap my emotions around it. It's just so mind-boggling. I haven't really caught up. It hasn't caught up with me yet. But recently, the podcast Murder Sheet obtained the sealed warrant. In the request, the FBI agent wrote, I believe there is probable cause to believe that Ronald Logan has committed the crime of murder, and the evidence of that could be found on Ronald Logan's property. The agent then went on to detail why, saying Logan asked a relative to create a fake alibi for him for the afternoon that the girls were reported missing. There was also cell tower data that tracked his phone to the crime scene. Plus, investigators interviewed two women who had been in a relationship with Logan, and both reported that he was physically abusive. While investigators continue to track down leads, the community hasn't given up hope. Posters remain in many downtown windows, a constant reminder of this unsolved case. It just feels like yesterday, to be honest with you. I mean, five years is not a long time at all. You know, and it's in our faces every single day. We see the same people we, we associate with, you know, people that are close to them. And like so many in Delphi, Omar Ruiz has learned not to jump to conclusions when new details are released. You know, I can't make speculations and I can't say he did or he didn't. You know, it's one of those things that once again, we're a community. You know, we try to stick together as much as possible. The leaked document also gave new information about the crime scene, saying one of the victims was missing an article of clothing. There were no visible signs of a struggle or fight. Investigators also recovered fibers and unidentified hairs, and it also appeared the girls' bodies were moved and staged. No matter how much time passes, the community isn't giving up, knowing someone knows something. It's going to be solved. You know what I mean? It's going to be solved. And to be clear, police have not charged Logan with this crime or named him as a suspect in this case. Now let's put this leaked search warrant in context of the entire investigation. It starts when Abby and Libby go missing February 13th, 2017. And just one day later, February 14th of 2017, that's when search and rescue find their bodies. And then February 15th, this image right here, police released this picture from the bridge, an image we've been looking at for quite some time. That leads to the audio on February 22nd of 2017. It's the down the hill audio. So March 17th is when a search warrant was issued for the home of Ronald Logan. Not many contents of were discussed of that search warrant, but we knew all of this information right here. That was about it until the first sketch of the suspect was released in July 17th of 2017, which leads to quite some time later on April 22nd of 2019. That's when ISP announced that they were moving in a new direction. Now, one thing that should be noted that all of this was happening before Ronald Logan passed away in 2020. State Police Superintendent Doug Carter has cautioned against speculating in the wake of this leaked document. While he wouldn't comment directly on it, he says there are still things investigators know that they will not share with the public. In fact, just last December, police started looking for information about the Anthony Schatz profile, leading them to Keegan Klein. He's currently in jail tonight on charges for crimes against children, but is not charged in this Delphi case. As always, if you have any information that can help investigators, send them an email to this address. We've got it posted on your screen and also on WTHR.com Delphi.